I will be randomly generating three NHL players at a time, but blindly selecting two before they show up on the screen. I will then be using this great website I found to search for any shared teammates between those two players. For this challenge, I will exclusively be doing NHL teammates, so if they played with them in junior or anything else, it does not count. If there are no shared teammates between the two players, then I will be forced to take the third randomly generated player. Once I have a full team, we will assemble it on NHL 24 and simulate through a franchise mode with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. For the first set, I'm going to take the two outer players. So left and right, let's generate, and we get Anthony Mantha and Jack Drury. We've actually got a few options here, but the ones that really catch my eye are Dmitry Orlov, Ethan Bear, and Evgeny Kuznetsov. Let's go with Dmitry Orlov. Next up, I'm going middle and right. So we don't have Parker Kelly, I believe his name is, but we do have Sammy Blaze and Jimmy VC. Oh, we've got options, options, because we have Adam Fox, Artemi Panarin. Do I even need to keep going? Igor Shosturkin, we could could just grab an unbelievable goaltender. Yeah, I'm taking Igor. I'm not holding back in this one. I want to try to win a cup. It has been far too long. Right now, it seems like the impossible task. I'm going outsides again. Left and right, we get Pearson. We don't get Domi, but we do get Neil. Pionk. Oh, we've got some good ones again. JT Miller, for example. We can't take Gensel because that wasn't in the NHL. Same with Shifley down here. He's not eligible. Quinn Hughes would have been so sick. Actually, Brock Besser was also the USHL, so we definitely have to go with JT Miller here. Middle and left. We have Romanov and Bunting. Hmm. Right now, looking at this list, I'm thinking Pierre Engvall. Actually, no. I withdraw that because we are going with Jesperi Kakaniemi. I'm going back to middle and right. So Graves, nope. Gagne and... Ooh. We might be getting Graves. Oh, never mind. Right off the bat, we have Edler. Oh, could you imagine if Pedersen was available or Drew Doughty? Lucas Raymond also would have been awesome. I'm gonna go with PLD. Left and right again. Maybe there's someone. Otherwise, we're getting Castellic. Not a ton to choose from here, but we do have three pretty solid options, and I'm gonna go with Vladdy. Middle left, we have Pat Maroon and Evan Rodriguez. They have definitely crossed paths at some point. Once again, we have Vladimir Tarasenko. We do need to start taking some defensemen, but for this one, I'm going Carter Verhage. Middle and right, Colin Blackwell will not be a part of it, or maybe we'll get him. We have Bemstrom and Eberle. Sydney the Kidney would have been so fire. But as he is not eligible, we will be adding Bjorkstrand to our squadron. Middle and left, Henrik and Merrill. Oh, we've actually got quite a bit here. They were both teammates with Martin Broder. As we do need defensemen, Adam Larson is going to be our guy. We're going back to middle and right. So we have... According to YouTube, it is pronounced Patra. So I'm going with that and Chinikov. All right, we have one option. Not much debating to do here. The good news is he's a defenseman. Back to the outsides we go left and right. We get Philip Heedle and Hampus Lindholm. We do got options, but I am going to go with Kevin Shattenkirk. Next chance, I have to take a goalie. Unless there's someone unbelievable. We're going middle and right. DiGiuseppe and Dvorak. I don't even have a good guess. Every time I see some of these names, I get gassed and then realize that they weren't NHL teammates. Like Horvat, London, Brock Besser, USA U20. Truba's also the USA Worlds. Jacob Slavin, USHL. I will select Connor Garland. And now I'm going to go middle left. We have Zucker and Sanheim. Our best option is going to be Ryan Hartman. Back to the outsides we go. Left and right. Charlie Coyle and give me another Bruin. Oh, we get Duheim. I think right now it's between either Marcus Foligno or Joel Erickson Eck. And I'm going double E. Middle and right are giving me a goalie connection, 100%. Lazar and Leller. There was Vitek Vanacek, so the goalie connection was there, but I don't care. I'm bowing out for EK65. And with that, we only need one more defender, and I'm going left and middle with Kulak and Letary. I could go with the safe play and grab Keith Kincaid, but I won't. I'm going with Garnett Hathaway. We're getting pretty close to done. We need two more forwards, one more defender, one more goaltender, and we're going outsides, left and right. Pesci and Evgeny Malkin. Why do you have to do me like this? I saw Nedeljkovic and I was like, sold. We have our goalie done. 
But Jake Gensel's there, so I have to take him. Come on. I don't care if we have, like, Nathan McKinnon as our next one. I'm taking a goalie or a defenseman. Left and middle. Let's find out. This guy seems to have been former teammates with a lot of people because he's come up several times here and I'm finally going to follow through and grab Keith Kincaid. So there's our backup goalie. Although I did really want to take Max Domi, the middle player and the right player. Right on. I will draft our final defenseman, Nate Schmidt. And this will be our final player, we're going back to the outsides, left and right. We get Jeff Carter and Middleton. Again, both former teammates of Eric Carlson. With our final selection, we will be scooping up Frederick Goudreau. Now let's go assemble this team on NHL 24 and see if we're looking any good. Our squad has officially been pieced together on NHL 24. Let's hope we have some chemistry. Plus five on the first line. You love to see that. Jake and Bake playing with JT Miller and Vladimir Tarasenko. That should be a good line. You guys better put in work. So the offense is looking good. How about defense? Ooh, not so much. I'm going to bring Eric Carlson up to the top pair. And then we just get three zeros, which is way better. I don't know why they had it like this anyway. And in net. Igor Shosturkin, 92 overall, loaded with abilities. Our team was actually 92 overall again. I also noticed that the face cam from the draft bit was way too low. I don't know how that happened, but hopefully I can make it work. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to make it work because I'm not redoing it. We make the playoffs with 46 wins and Jake Gensel gets the most points with 92. You heard it here first. We're really not looking that good so far. We are third in the division, but it's very close. We are by no means in the race for the President's Trophy or anything like that. In fact, right now, we should just be focusing on trying to make the playoffs. Our division is crazy close right now. Like every game, we're hopping anywhere from like first to sixth. Why was our last game of the season on an island over here? Like it's not even close to this game. The Flowrider Panthers will be our first round opponent. Let's go check some stats. We wound up third in the custom division four, as you do, uh, with 43 wins, 89 points. That's really not that good. Edmonton Oilers won the President's Trophy with 112. Yeah, we actually made it in at 17. So we weren't even in the upper half of the league. You love and hate to see it. JT Miller put up 81 points, Jake and Bake with 76, and then we drop off to Vladdy with 68. Pretty good showing from Eric Carlson, but what's with this horrible plus minus category? Igor Shosturkin with a 906 302. Can someone riddle me that? He was 40 points ahead of our next defenseman. That's crazy. Stuart Skinner and Tristan Jari both had 43 wins on the year, but we have a 915 from Stewie and a 279, which is slightly better than Jari. Kale McCarr just doing what he does. 95 points, a plus 34. This kid is unbelievable. Adam Fox had 77, but that still doesn't even come close to old Kale Maker. What a season from the Colorado Avalanche. Rocket Richard winner. They have the Art Ross winner, probably the Hart. The Norris, 121 points from Nathaniel and 45 for the plus minus. It's pretty good. With Rantanen's 56 tucks, they have the first and second most scoring players in the entire league. First three games, everybody knows the rules. Let's see if we can hold our own. That was a gross first game. But you know what? We bounce back. They can't win in the next two. So you know what we do. Come on, make it a dub. Oh, we do, but then we... Don't let them push a game seven. Don't do it. Okay, I was totally expecting a game seven. Next up, the Winnipeg Jets. First three games. Let's see where we're sitting at that point. We are getting deleted. Just don't get swept. Just win one game. Oh, wow. They actually went on to win the Stanley Cup. Hershey Bears, your Calder Cup champions. JT had his guy. 14 points in 10 games. Can't get mad. Tarasenko over point a game. He was the second line. No, he was on the first line. Jake and Bake only eight. That's unacceptable. Eric Carlson once again being an offensive wizard, but a dash eight. That math is mathing. Another mediocre performance for Igor Shosturkin. Like if this was an 83 overall goalie, I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. You did great. But we're talking about Igor here. Connor Hellebuck ran through the playoffs with a 923 save percentage and a 253 GAA. The other Eric Carlson 
had a run to remember as well. 17 points, 17 games played. How you doing? Joe Pavelski really trying to get that cup. 33 points in 22 games, but unfortunately he couldn't get it done. Mark Scheifele will probably be the Conn Smythe winner. But again, I could see them giving it to... I, they could possibly give it to Hellebuck. But they won't. It's going to be Shifley. At this rate, I could even see a case for Pavelski, of course. But I'm pretty sure you have to be on the winning team to get it. At least in this game. There's probably a couple examples in real life where that's not the case. But yeah, in this game, it's pretty much always... It, in fact, it might actually always be you are on the winning team. Nate Mack, keeping the tradition alive, the Art Hart combo. Kel McCarr does get the James Norris. McDavid grabbing the Lady Bing. Oh, no way. The Calder Memorial goes to Leo Carlson. I was just saying in a recent video that I always see it go to Bedard pretty much without fail. Here's the exception. Shifley does get the Con Smythe. The Vesna goes to Thatcher Demko, but the William M. Jennings will go to the duo of Vasilevsky and Johansson. Lazone has a Masterton season and Carney, a Jack Adams one. Rory obtains the Selkie. And then we've got Nate Mack cleaning up a little bit more. Just a complete janitor. And this will be your playoff tree. That's how it all went down. It went to seven between the Dallas Stars and the Winnipeg Jets. What a final that would have been. Obviously, that can't happen. But, well, during the bubble season, maybe. I don't know, because stuff was all out of whack then. We made playoffs again. Couldn't get it done. That's it. That's the moral of the story. I appreciate you guys as always. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be terrific. I'd greatly appreciate it. And on that note, I'll see you soon.